Hi there, Virgo, and welcome back to Star Lord is Tarot. This is your tarot forecast for the week of uh, May the 17th through to the 23rd. I went ahead, shuffled the cards, laid them all out. Let's see what's going on for Virgo. First up, we have the Six of Wands in the upright, followed then by the Page of Pentacles upright. Next, we have the Seven of Wands reversed. Followed then by Major Arcana, the Lovers in the Upright. And lastly, we have the Three of Cups Upright. So for your overall energy, Virgo, you have that of the Victory card, the Six of Wands in the Upright position. Well, there's some kind of victory going on for Virgo this week. This could be a victory in concluding some type of project. Perhaps this is happening at your workplace. Maybe you've been working alongside of others to complete a certain project. Maybe you had a time frame, and the time's up, and boom, you did it. You pulled it all together. No doubt with Virgo, you always manage to make your deadlines and pull things together. And this is victory. This is pats on the back. Work well done. Everybody's applauding you. Uh, for others of you, this could be about gaining recognition. Sometimes this can be about success, recognition, maybe, um, you know, even being recognized by the media or something like that, where they're they're saying kudos to you, Virgo, for what you accomplished here, what you did. This is also good news for those of you who are traveling, say, home or to a group of people that you haven't seen in a while. This is being well received, a lot of attention being bestowed upon us. Beautiful, beautiful energy for your overall. Coming right at the beginning of the week, we have the Page of Pentacles here in the upright position. Well, it is a court card, could be representing a person. If it's representing a person, this is Earth energy, that of Taurus, Virgo, like yourself. Capricorn, sun, moon, or rising, male or female. Now, it could be you're getting messages maybe from another Earth sign. Or it could be you being the Page of Pentacles and sending out messages to people. Uh, this could be a message concerning anything from school to, you know, finances, anything that the, the Pentacles govern. The Page of Pentacles is known as the scholar. So perhaps for some of you, this is news or information about getting a scholarship. Maybe one of your children uh, or grandchildren are sharing news of having a scholarship with you. This could be news coming your way about a project that is starting it's in the infancy stage and perhaps they're picking you because of your beautiful victories in the past they're picking you to head this new project or something like that could be news coming to you uh, for those of you who are looking for work this could be maybe getting a news a message about potential you know, um, maybe they looked over their your resume and they want to call you in for an interview or that kind of thing. So interesting messages. Others of you, if this is playing out on the romantic front, this could be somebody messaging you who's very serious minded. Um, it could be somebody in the early stages of building their wealth or something like that. Now, it's paired up here with the seven of wands in the reverse position. Seven of Wands upright, this points to a lot of, uh, you know, being protective. Could be protecting ourselves, protecting others, protecting our heart, protecting, um, you know, something we've said or done. We're waiting for the other shoe to drop and we're just not sure how people are going to take it. When the card is reversed, though, this is where we're kind of relaxed about things. We're like, hmm, I think... Um, you know, I think I can let down my guard about this matter now. Maybe you've waited and waited to hear from this person or something like that. Maybe you had your guard up and now, you know, your guard is down. For others of you, perhaps you were protecting a certain person and you realize that person really didn't deserve your protection and you're releasing yourself from that burden. Others of you, you're just feeling a lot more relaxed, maybe because of this newfound success and victory. And you're just saying, ah, whatever, let it be what it's going to be. Moving on towards the weekend, we have the Gemini energy here. The lovers in the upright position. The lovers is about needing to make a choice or a decision about something. Now, it could be, you know, with this message coming in at the early part of the week, maybe you got offered something, could have gotten offered a job maybe somewhere else. And you're trying to figure out, should I take it? Should I not take it? Sometimes this can be representative of... You know, should I, you know, get involved with this person? Should I not get involved? Remember, we always have free will. We always have a choice when it comes to love in particular. We can choose to love. We can choose not to love. We can choose to take our relationship to the next level. We can choose to pull back from it. You know, we can choose to get fully immersed in it. 
For others of you, this could be choosing between two people. Maybe you have two potential, you know, love interests and you have to make a choice now. For others of you, this could be about business partners. Maybe you've got somebody approaching you about a business partnership and you have to make a decision here. It's a pretty serious decision. But, you know, I think Virgo weighs their pros and cons quite, you know, quite well and quite fair and usually doesn't take a long time to figure it out. If Virgo is going to make a decision, they generally do it quite quickly. And maybe you do, maybe you make the decision right away because here's a celebration, the Three of Cups is at the end of the reading. This is about getting together with a small group of people, maybe celebrating something. Definitely you have something to celebrate with this success being the overall. Others of you, maybe it's about this choice, this decision, this thing you're being offered could be from the beginning of the week and maybe you're going to go out there with a couple of colleagues or a couple of friends and you're going to celebrate this um, new offer, this new message, this new success. So what an interesting reading for you, Virgo. Please leave a comment in the comment section below if it's resonating for you and how so. But that is your reading. I really hope it helped you. If it did, please feel free to like, share, and subscribe. And I will see you next week. Bye-bye for now.